Happy Wednesday out there, Team 42. It's your skipper here at Darius Dell to present our Macro Minute for Wednesday, July 17th, 2024. As always, we'll start with the executive summary from today's leadoff morning note. If you would like to review the analysis supporting these conclusions, as well as what specific changes you need to make in your portfolio to stay on the right side of market risk, you need to be a client of 42 Macro. So starting with uh, today's key macro events are Biden, both Biden and Trump uh, threaten big tech and are rate cuts bullish or bearish for stocks. In terms of market implications, uh, President Biden floated the prospect of harsher curbs against companies continuing to supply China with high tech semiconductors. Additionally, former President Donald Trump questioned whether the U.S. has a duty to defend Taiwan against Chinese aggression. We believe investors should buy the relative performance dip in big tech but the absolute correction is likely to continue due to bearish signals from our positioning model. There are a few definitive conclusions as to whether the beginning of a Fed rate cutting cycle is bullish or bearish for stocks. The only hard conclusions are twofold. Defensives tend not to perform cyclicals over multiple time horizons, and the performance of the stock market depends on the performance of the economy with dispersion amongst the observations so significant that it calls for investors to pivot their focus away from the Fed and back to the economy. Transitioning to our 42 Macro Dashboard here, as always, we'll wrap up with the questions from our community. Uh, this one's uh, uh, titled Thoughts on Bitcoin Skip. Uh, the question reads, I'll start by saying thank you for all the hard work. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, appreciate you as well. Uh, just wanted to uh, request an update on Bitcoin as it has moved up significantly uh, in the last few days. We'd love to know uh, your thoughts. Uh, so, you know, our thoughts, obviously, uh, in terms of what investors should be doing about it, that's obviously uh, embargoed for our, our paying clients. So I'll, 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 I'll leave you guys to review the research on that if you're inside of the paywall and inside of our uh, global community of investors. Uh, but just generally, just talking generally, uh, Bitcoin has moved up a, a decent amount off the lows. If you look at uh, the, you know, I think I want to say on Friday, it was uh, south of uh, 57,000. And then obviously the uh, the near uh, assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump, who has been an ardent and avid supporter of Bitcoin, uh, that assassination attempt really got the uh, rally kickstarted over the past uh, a few days here. Uh, so, you know, a lot of investors, um, you know, I can just see it on Twitter and I can sort of see it a little bit in our community and in inbox is that, you know, investors are sort of, you know, getting very emotional about the uh, the big rally we've seen over the past uh, a few days. But, you know, the one thing I'll say about this is that uh, a couple of things. One, uh, the assassination attempt is the kind of exogenous event uh, that can cause a change in trend uh, in a market price. Uh, so you don't want to be dismissive of that, uh, given the fact that uh, it's it's coming on it, it's coming alongside a change in, in the fundamental outlook if Donald Trump wins uh, the presidential election, which obviously the assassination attempt catapulted his probability of winning that uh, by a significant degree. If he wins the election, then we're talking about an administration that is very pro Bitcoin, very pro uh, crypto in, in general. You know, just from the perspective of regulation, but also from the perspective of the uh, uh, bloated budget deficits that uh, we are likely to see with the extension of the Trump tax cuts. So uh, those two factors are, are independently bullish uh, for the crypto space and Bitcoin specifically. Uh, and so that's uh, part of the reason we've seen such a sharp rally from 57,000 below 57,000 last Friday to, I want to say, above 65,000 uh, here this morning. So, uh, you know, you don't want to be dismissive of that, but I do think it's important to make sure that you are respecting, you know, you're dancing with the with the girl you brought to the prom. You're respecting your whatever your process is, and obviously, we use our ball to just a momentum signal to keep clients on the right side of Bitcoin and other crypto market risk. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that you're respecting those signals and the evolution of those signals, as opposed to emotionally reacting to short-term price movements. That's what terrible retail investors do. I promise you, if you emotionally react to short-term price movements for an extended period of time, you're going to wind up taking all the money that you worked your, your butt off to earn, and you're going to hand it over bit by bit to people like me who have a much more uh, thoughtful investment process. So we'll wrap it up there. Uh, Darius Dale presenting our uh, Macro Minute for Wednesday, July 17th, 2024. Uh, everyone have a wonderful day. Best of luck out there. We'll catch you back here tomorrow. Cheers.